What exactly does a virtual home archery system look like and how can you use it to lose weight and get in shape? The brand new Artemis bow takes the virtual hunting and archery gameplay to a whole new level, allowing you to draw a bow safely and release it right in your own living room. The Artemis comes with several games and training modes, which can easily be played on any monitor, including VR. Is this new virtual archery workout system capable of making me break a sweat? And is it enjoyable enough that it's something I can easily and conveniently add to my workout routine? Let's find out. Thank you to Wonderfitter for sponsoring this week's video and for sending me their brand new Artemis bow to check out. I really enjoyed their Hoyu Smart Recurve bow from last year and I'm eager to find out how this new bow is different and how their system has improved. The first thing I noticed is the lightweight of the Artemis bow compared to the previous model and how easy it was to assemble. I had no problem putting it together myself in just a few minutes, making it easy to store and take it with me for travel or to a friend's house. The Artemis bow runs through the Wonderfitter app, which you can get through both Apple and Google Play stores. And you can connect the same bow to multiple devices. You can play with the Artemis bow on any screen, but bigger is definitely better. Connect the Wonderfitter app to your monitor either by a screen sharing app or via a wireless casting system like the one you can get with the purchase of the bow. The app calibration has improved significantly and the aim of the Artemis bow feels smooth and reliable. This does mean that the bow needs to be charged, but Wonderfitter advertises four hours of battery life and you can easily keep track of that as you go. My favorite way of using the Artemis bow has been with my Rokid AR glasses. I can easily project the app to my glasses just like I would with any other application and I get the biggest monitor ever. It makes it easy to use the bow anywhere, including outside. Wonderfitter is currently working on the Artemis VR compatibility and their update is expected to be released in mid-December. I am super curious to see if the bow would work with other VR games and apps or if we're getting a brand new Wonderfitter game to play with our VR headset. For now, the only hints that we have is that both Meta and Pico are listed on the Wonderfitter website as partner and um, this weird device that I got in my box, the only thing I can think of it being is some kind of attachment for a VR controller. All right, before you start aiming a large arrow at your favorite monitor, you might wanna ask yourself like, how safe is this? Because I did, multiple times. Until I started assembling the bow and looked at the details. The first thing I noticed when putting it together is that I had to attach a locking nut at the end of the quiver that attached to the handle. Even when attaching the string to the knocking point, I had to use an Allen key to tighten it and finish the setup. This double locking mechanism makes it safe to draw the arrow and release it without it coming loose, even at high speed. I recommend starting every round by resetting the aim. I missed the convenient button that the previous system had on the bow itself, so I hope this is something that will be reintroduced. For now, just press the button on your phone and aim the tip of your quiver at the center of the target on the screen you are wanting to play off. I also find that recalibrating every time I reconnect my bow or move to a new location makes the gameplay much more reliable. But even if it's not completely perfect, it is easy to see where your target is on the screen, so I don't find that it takes away from my experience or my workout. Okay, so speaking of workout, how does the Artemis bow fit into my or your workout routine. I love that the Artemis bow is only 660 grams and pulling back on the bowstring is relatively easy. So I can play for a longer period of time without getting tired. The games are based on time and accuracy and definitely encourage you to fire your arrows as swiftly as possible. There are several ways that these archery games can complement a fitness routine. The archery range is a great spot to improve eye-hand coordination and strength. Choose your distance and shoot as many arrows as possible in one minute. In order to keep your aim still, you need to build static strength in your back, arms, and core while taking deep breaths to steady your aim. 
Deep breathing is beneficial for so many reasons, but some of my favorites are improved core muscle stability, reduced stress and anxiety, and improved focus and attention. As good as that sound, what if you just really want to break a sweat? The hunting modes become more interesting compared to the stationary boards but it adds the intensity of having to shoot a target before it moves or while it's in motion. In addition, you really don't want to miss too many arrows or take your time, especially when hunting wolves. It can become dangerous. Fruit Expert is one of the new games this year. Different fruit is shot at you and in return, you have to shoot them down before everything just becomes a big mess. I found my score finally improving when I kept my bow strong and was ready to fire loose at the fruit right away. Holding your muscles under tension this way improves your muscle stabilization and endurance, which can significantly improve your posture and strength without putting stress on your joints and tendons as traditional dynamic strength training does. When you include static exercises into your workout routine, it helps target areas of your body and muscles that are hard to train otherwise and adding in this variation is a great way to move past plateaus and challenge your body in new ways, bringing you closer to your exercise goals faster. And if that's not hot enough for you, there's Wild Attack. In this game mode, you are protecting your village from a horde of evil yellow men who are trying to cut down the town gate. Shoot down dudes in motion, and depending on their level of armor, you may have to shoot them multiple times. You can also get extra points by shooting the balloons released when they go down. The game gives you plenty of opportunity to fire arrows as quickly as you can draw them. Playing through the different game modes, I found that my heart rate got as high as 169 beats per minute and I was averaging around 135. This translates to roughly 450 calories burned per hour. This hour-long session becomes a perfect addition to any healthy weight loss routine where the goal is to add 500 calories of extra activity every day without increasing the stress on your body. The Artemis Bow don't just challenge the muscles in my arms, back, and core, but it also releases a lot of my tension and stress through focus and slow with breathing. And the continuous challenge of the target is engaging and fun. I have found that it is a perfect addition to my routine, especially for those times when my body requires something a little less chaotic but still really want to work. I am personally dying to see what the VR integration of the Artemis bow will be. And I so hope to see some kind of object dodging so that we can really take this workout to 11. I'll be sharing the update as soon as I can over on Instagram. So if you haven't followed me there yet, this is your cue to do so. The Artemis Bow is currently available over on Kickstarter. And if you hurry on over there, you can get in on the early bird special for $105 US, which includes the full bow, the app, and all the games I talked about. Make sure to check the link in the description. And if you're interested to know how physical accessories can help improve your virtual gaming and VR experience, then check out this video right here.